all right so hey guys my name is Rodolph and welcome to another one of my hit film tutorials so in the last tutorial I pretty much said this one would be about matching the green screen shot with the background you're putting it in because a lot of the time people shoot something in a green screen and then they key it out and the key looks nice and then they just leave it so we'll talk about the importance to match the green screen footage with the background and some tips and tricks you can use in whatever program you're using to just to better do it so pretty much in this footage i have the the musician this was a shot from a music video i did and that's pretty much him just standing there playing his guitar or whatever so i already keyed him out and the key looks pretty good but when you look at him and then you look at the background footage, you realize that it's just they did, they weren't they weren't shot with the same camera. They're just completely different things, and and it just doesn't match. You know, you just see it, and it's like, oh, that guy's not really there. So we're gonna so I'm gonna talk about some some tips to to kind of fix that. So the first things. There's three things you need to worry about. There is the contrast, the saturation, and the color. So these three things, you need to make sure they match. You match them as close as you can get to the background footage and to the green screen footage. And the more th these are the same, the better the effect will be. So what I mean by that is if the green screen footage is really satur saturated, then the background footage should be really saturated. If it's really contrasted, then it should be really contrasted. And for this footage, just by looking at it, you see that this guy is a lot more contrasted than the background footage. So we're going to work on the contrast right now. So the best way to do the contrast is to set both shots to black and white. So I'm going to go to color here. And then I'm going to the hue, saturation, and lightness. Put this here. And put this for the background. So like I said, set everything to black and white. You go to effects, master, and then saturation. Just take the saturation down completely. And then you go for the green screen footage, hue, lightness, master, saturation. Then you take the saturation out completely. Now, why am I doing that? Because when you make it black and white, then all you see is the contrast of the footage. There's no colors to get in your way. So, you, so by, by looking at it that way, you'll be able to match the contrast a bit better. If we look at his shirt and his guitar right here, we see that the blacks in this image is a lot darker than the blacks in in the background for example see this area right here is a shadow and and yeah it's black but it's not fully black and you see like the tire right here on the background and all these are black but unlike this which is already contrasted there's just kind of like a gray color so that's what we're gonna need to get that to so i'm going to brightness and contrast put it right here and then I'm just going to take the contrast out just a little bit on the green screen footage. And that looks a lot better than it did before. If I take it out, you will see it's super contrasted. And then if I put it back in, then you will see that it blends more with the, with the background footage and it, and so yeah, for the contrast, we see that we got the contrast part down. So I can go ahead and reset this. And I can go ahead and reset this also. So we don't need the sets the to have it black and white anymore because here we just fixed the colors. So the next thing we're going to do is it's contrast, saturation, and then color. So we're going to work on the saturation now. So I'm going to back to the, the green screen footage. And I'm going to see how the saturation matches to the background. And again, I see that the background is a lot more 
desaturated than the green screen footage. So I'm still gonna keep the hue saturation and instead of going all the way down with it, I'm just gonna go down slightly with it. And for that, I didn't need to do much, but now, now you can see that it, that the saturation matches better, which is what we're wanting. So now we have the color. And for the color, what you wanna do is color balance. Now color balance, like his name says, is gonna balance the colors so we can, you can switch different things. And like we, like you saw in my other tutorials, we have shadow, midtones, and highlights. And, and pretty much when you, we look at this image, the green screen guy, in his shirt, his black shirt, we can kind of see some red here. And so very much we, we know that the green screen guy is a lot more red than this color. The green screen footage wasn't properly white balanced, so it has a red tint to it. So that's what we're gonna fix to match the color to the background more. So we have the shadows and the red balance. So we're gonna put down the red balance so we can take some red out of the footage. Alright. And we're gonna do the same thing for the mid-tones, take out some red balance. And we're gonna do the same thing for the highlights, even though there's not too many highlights in the image, but just in case. So yeah, already pretty much, now we're done, and you see that the footage of the green screen shot matches the background shot a lot better. Still, it's not realistic. I mean, it's a giant. I mean, how is that realistic? But, but for the point I'm making, when, when you do all these steps and then it'll do for a more convincing effect. So for example, if I did take all these out pretty much of the footage, let me see. And then you will see that, see, see the big difference here? It's red, it's contrasted, it's saturated, not like this at all. And then if I put this back in, then you just see that it fits better. And another thing you can do now that our footage is perfectly fine, we can just go ahead and add a grade layer and a grade layer will color grade everything underneath it. And let's say I wanna do my basic movie look, you know, add some brightness and contrast, add some color correction wheels on the, on the grade layer. You know, add some orange mid-tones, some bluish shadows, and for brightness and contrast, just add a little bit of contrast there so so yeah so pretty much that's the final project and and yeah so that's how you match the green screen footage with your background footage and i cannot stress how important that step is so yeah that's it for this tutorial and if you like this tutorial please subscribe because i'll be doing more videos so you can stay updated with everything and, and yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.